Hello everyone, welcome to Smart Interviews. Let us solve another problem from the lead code today. I hope you are all doing great. Here is the problem statement. You can find the problem link in the description. Make sure you pause the video and come up with an approach of your own. Now let us try to understand the problem statement. Given the root of a tree, you are supposed to remove the nodes in which the subtrees are not containing ones. So given the input here, the root node that we are having is 1 and this is the left subtree and this is the right subtree. Given the root node here, this is the left subtree and this is the right subtree. And this is going to be the output after removing the nodes whose subtrees are not containing ones. Now let us try to understand how this would work. So initially the root node is containing 1 but we are first supposed to understand if the left subtree of it it is containing 1's or not. So if the left subtree of the current root if it is not containing 1 we can remove this entire left subtree and same goes with the right subtree. Now, by this time, I hope you understood which traversal are we supposed to use. Exactly, we are supposed to use the post order traversal. Now, let us go ahead with that. So, in the post order traversal, we first visit the left subtree and the right subtree and then followed by the root. So, let us first go with the left subtree. So, initially, we are at 1 and moving to the left of it, 1 again. And then further moving to the left of it, 1 again. And now moving further to the left of it, here it is 0. And for each node, we are supposed to check if the left subtree or the right subtree of it is containing 1. But as you see, here 0 is a leaf node, as in it is not containing any left or right children. Since it is not containing any left or right children, which means there are no ones in the left and right part, indicating that this from the left and right, returning back false that we are not having ones on the left and right side. Now we can go ahead and check the value of the current root. This as well is 0. Now it indicates that 1 is not at all present in the left and right subtree of it and the root value as well is not 1. So we are just supposed to return back false to its parent. And now, if you are returning back false from the left subtree, then we are supposed to check the right subtree. And here, the right subtree as well is containing 0 and it as well is a leaf node. So, its left and right children will return false. And now, this as well, since it is a 0, will return false. Now, for 1, the left and right subtrees of it is returning false. Now we are supposed to compare the value that we are having at the current node and here the value that we are having is 1 and as we know we need to have the nodes which are containing 1. Now since the left and right subtree of 1 are not containing 1's we can simply remove such nodes. So these nodes will be made null. Now moving ahead, the left subtree of 1 is done. Now let us move to the right subtree of it. Now in the right subtree we are having 0 and since we are supposed to pause, go with the post order traversal, we first move to the left of it and since here it is a null node, this is going to return back false indicating that there is no 1 in the subtree. And after that, we are supposed to check onto the right of it and this as well will return back false indicating that there is no 1 on the subtree. Now since both left and right subtrees of 0 are returning me false indicating that there are no 1s in the left and right subtrees, 
I need to compare the value of 0. Now, 0 is not 1. So, indicating that this as well should be removed. So, this entire part should be written back false. Now, as you can see, for this one, the left part is written to be true. But the right part is written to be false. Since the right part is written to be false, I can just simply make it as null. So, I'll just simply remove the elements on my right subtree. Now, we are done with the left subtree of my root. Now, we are supposed to move to the right subtree of it. Now, in the right subtree, we are supposed to start with 0. Now, as we are following the post order traversal, first check the left of the root. Here, the left of the root is null. Since it is null, we are going to return back false and post order traversal. So, check the right of it. The value that we are having here is 1. Since it is 1, we can simply return back true. Now, for 0, the left of it is written to me false and the right of it, it is written in true. Indicating that out of the left and right subtrees, one of the subtrees is containing a value which is 1. So, I can just simply remove the left subtree, but I can have the right subtree. So, moving back, here 0 will be included and since it is being included, I will return back true. Now, for the root node, I am returning back true from the left side as well as from the right side. Now, check the root value. Now, here the root value is 1. Since the root value is 1, there is no need to change it. We can just simply return back that. Now, let us understand, instead of it being 1, what if the case is 0? If the case is 0 here, the left subtree is written to me true and the right subtree as well is returning me true. Since I am having a left or right subtree which is containing a 1, I can still have the root even though if it is 0. Now let us try to understand a different scenario where I am having 0 and none of my left or right is returning me true. So if both of them are returning me false, indicating that None of the left and right subtrees are containing 1's. Both of them are not containing 1's and the value that I am having here as well is not 1. So, ultimately I need to return back null. Now, let us try to code this up. So, as you can understand, we are moving to the left subtree and right subtree and then the root of it. And while we are returning back the values, we are returning back a boolean value. So let us try to have a prune node helper function whose return type is boolean. Now, we are following the post order traversal. So, let us call root node helper on the right subtree that is root call on the left subtree that is root dot left. And along with this, let us again call it on the right subtree. Now, the values that we are getting from the left and right subtrees, we are supposed to store them. So, let us store them. Now, once you get the boolean values from the left and right, if the left value 
the left sub tree if it is returning you true only then we are supposed to have it so let us check that if l equals to true only then we are supposed to have it so in the other case as in if l equals to false so let us go ahead with that condition instead so if l is equals to false then we are not going to have a left subtree further so we can just simply make it null so root dot left will be equals to null and let us compare the same thing for the right subtree so if r equals to false then in that case root dot right is equals to null and now let us go ahead what is the next step that we are supposed to perform right if the root value that we are having if it is 1 in that case we can just simply return true instead if root dot value if it is equals to 0 in that case what are we supposed to do if the root value is 0 it can either happen that the left subtree or the right subtree it may contain one so if one of them is true then we can have zero in the tree that we have so just simply try to return the or of l and r and simply at the end return false now what else are we missing here right the base conditions now in case if the root itself is null then we can just simply return back false along with this what is the other condition that we need to take care of right if it is a leaf node so if root dot left equals to null and root dot right equals to null in this case if the root value is 0 then we need to return false if the root value is 1 we can return true so i'll just simply try to return root dot value equals to 1 indicating that if it is equals to 1 returns true else it returns false now if you carefully observe this we followed the post order traversal we are done with the entire left subtree and we are done with the entire right subtree of the root but but the root value that we can have as well can be a zero if the root value itself is zero if both left and right subtrees are containing ones or if at least one of them is containing ones only then i can have zero if not i should return back null as we already discussed so that condition let us take care in the prune tree function so here let us first call prune node helper function and in the prune node helper function we supposed to call the root and once we are done with this we are supposed to check the value of the root so here if root dot val if it is equals to 0 in that case if root dot left if it is not equals to null as in there is a left subtree or root dot right if it is not equals to null indicating there is a right subtree 
if one of the left or right subtrees are existing then we can still simply return the same root now if that is not the case as in if both left or right subtrees are not existing in that case we are supposed to return null so here in the else part i can return null now if at all the root value if it is not equals to 0 then i can just simply return the existing root without even checking anything so return root and as we see here it is prune node helper now let us try to run the code accept it now let us try to submit it cool the code got executed i hope you understood the problem okay guys see you in the next video thank you for watching please like share and subscribe for more such content